Hey everyone. Hey everyone. Hey everyone. Hey everyone. It's Paulina. I forgot to film an intro this week's video because it's been a crazy week. Very crazy. I started college again and I'm going in person every Tuesday for two classes. And there's this whole procedure to go in the building because of COVID. And actually this Tuesday that I went to school, it was a whole show because I'm taking art classes. So obviously I need to park near the art building, but that was blocked off because people are getting their COVID shots there. So I had to enter through a whole new way and walk to the art building, which is kind of far from the main entry. And I was almost late to one class. And I'm taking two online classes and two in person. And I already have so much schoolwork to do. So you can already, if you can already tell, I'm doing this a little bit last minute. So in today's video, I'm just going to be showing you a little come shopping with me for my art supplies and an art haul as well for my supplies. So stay tuned. I'm going art supply shopping and I just got most of the colors. The blue was missing. So that's, I'm kind of upset about that. Here are the colors. It's going to be hella expensive. Right now, I'm going to look for brushes and it's going to be a pain. So I have to buy a quart of gesso and look how expensive it is. I did not know gesso was this expensive. So I'm looking at the brushes to buy and every time I pick one up, look how expensive for one brush is. So I'm definitely going to be broke. I mean, it's 50% off, but even then it still adds up. And I need to get at least 10 brushes. I don't know how I'm going to be working this semester. I seriously don't know where to start. I don't know. Finally decided on one brush that I'm for sure buying. It's $10 right now, so with 50% off, it would be $5. It's still kind of, uh, but it'll do. So I got all of the basics. Little art palettes, tons of brushes. I got at least 12, I think. And then all the paint. Okay, all I need left is like five to six more things. I came to the dollar store to buy myself a little container. container. It's just to put water in, like wash your brushes. Now I'm at Michael's. Found a whole pack for $11, so it's a good deal. Also, I didn't find the blue at Hobby Lobby, but I just found it. I love craft stores so much. They make me so cozy. So I'm finally done shopping. I still need little things here and there, but it's just little things that I can get at the dollar store or I can find at home. Now I'm gonna talk to you about what I got. <laughs> Art shopping is really scary, but really fun at the same time because you're getting new materials, but at the same time, it's so expensive and you don't know how much it would end up being. I went to two different stores and the total ended up being a little bit over $200. Good thing I have financial help, so I'm really grateful about that. Now let's get into what I bought. I love working with acrylic, so I took advantage of buying the colors listed obviously in my materials list. I needed to buy new paints anyways because I just have dollar store acrylic paints that won't work for a freaking college level painting class. Some of these still got the little prices. I got two sizes. The small bottle I got for $4.27 and the big bottle I got for $8.99. They were not on sale so that kind of hurt me a little bit. But I wanted to buy good paints for a decent price and this is what I bought. It's the Grumbatcher acrylic paint. I got several colors. So the colors I got are cadmium red. Cadmium. I hope I'm pronouncing, pronouncing? I can't even say pronouncing. I hope I'm pronouncing those right. As an art student, that's a little embarrassing. Alizarin, Alizarin Crimson. Kind of like a maroon looking color. It kind of looks different on the camera, but you get the point. Cadmium Orange Hue. And then I got Cadmium Yellow Medium Hue as well. Yellow Ochre. It's kind of like a mustard yellow. Hooker's Green Hue. It's very much of a forest green looking. I had to buy this paint at a different store because I could not find the shade of blue. I can't even pronounce it. F Give me a second. Okay, so it's thalo thalocyanine blue or thalocyanine. <laughs> you can make fun of me all you want. I think it's also thalo, like just thalo. Thalo blue. Deoxynine purple. It's very dark now that I see it. It's like barely there. Then I got burnt sienna and burnt umber. Both browns, just one looks more of a rustic orange while one is a dark brown. Then I got Payne's Gray. 
looks more black. You can see that it's very dark and I feel like if we build it up with white, it creates like a very nice shade. And my professor recommended me to get big bottles of black and white because we use those a lot. Look at the size compared to the... I got titanium white and ivory black. Since we talked about paints, now we're moving on to paintbrushes. I got plenty because she just said to get one of everything, what you think you use most. So I just got, I think a little bit over 12. I do have my own paintbrushes in my drawer, but they're kind of like Walmart brand, not really good for a college painting course. So I just took advantage of buying new paintbrushes because your girl likes to paint on her free time. They were a little bit expensive, but they were 50% off. So there's a flat brush, but it's for big canvases. If we were to use this with a small canvas, you would just be hitting your face. Then I got a filbert brush for a small canvas. My professor really recommended this for small little details, obviously. The highest push for the brushes without the 50% off was $17.99 for this brush, while the lowest was $8.99. And that was without the 50% off, so imagine if I got them at regular price. I got this angle shader for large canvases for just $4.50. Then I got this round brush for $5. It's for little canvases. And I love these type of tips. I think they're my favorite to use. Then I got this big bright brush for large canvases for $9. Can you, can you imagine that? This is why art students are broke. Then I got this filbert brush for large canvases for $7. I love how white it is. It's so nice. But I know this is going to get stained super easily. Then I got this chisel blender. Mm chisel blender for five dollars and it's for little canvases then i got this brown brush brown <laughs> round brush for large canvases for 5.75 very very nice <laughs> then i just went ahead and bought a little pack of four so here they are and i got these for five dollars because they were on sale too Oh, I almost forgot about my big set of brushes. My professor said we needed a big one just to gesso our canvas beforehand. Look at it. And then these, I don't think I'll be using much, but I'll figure something out. <laughs> Next, I got a palette knife. It's to mix your paints. I do not like how much plastic waste this is creating. My professor said this is a good size. It's recommended to mix with this instead of your paintbrushes because in the long run, your paintbrushes can actually not work as well. I got myself one of these. I know everyone loves using these. <laughs> painting palettes flat white and plastic i got two for four dollars so that's really good i just wanted an excuse to buy these because i've really been wanting one of these then i got some liquitex gesso to prime my canvas beforehand and y'all when i saw this i was like it's a little bit expensive. This was $38, but I used a coupon and it brought it down to $26, I believe. Nearly $40 and I brought it down to $26. So there you go. Next, this was the cheapest thing that I got from all the rest. This little dollar store container for my paint, obviously for my water when I'm washing out the paints. Nothing special. It's just plastic with the lid. Then I got myself some artist tape. I don't think the color matters because you're just gonna take it off in the end. Mine's black. It's three-fourths of an inch. Here's how it looks. Nothing special. Then I got some acrylic paper. It's just little sheets of paper so you won't use up your canvas as much. Oh! <laughs> Let me review myself. They're like semi-thick pages like this. And it's just to do your practice paintings before you put it on a canvas just to see what works and what techniques to use and all that. It'll save you so much money because you're not using a canvas. And last but not least, I got myself a six pack of canvases. It's 12 by 16. This is the ideal size of what I'm gonna be working on this semester. I bought six because it was a good deal. I was looking for separate canvases, but one canvas itself cost $16 while this one cost $11. That's a very good deal if you ask me. And then here, I don't even know if I can carry it. It is 50 pounds worth of clay. <laughs> here it is. <laughs> So that is all for today's video. I'm definitely going to be having so much fun this semester with creating projects and everything. Let me know if you want me to do like a little practice test on how the materials work and how they look and feel. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day. Bye!